Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. More than a year ago, I posted my first review about Electrolux Q7 vacuum cleaner and the title was Life After Dyson. Because my channel is totally not, no BS, it's my personal experience with items that I'm not affiliating with. Uh, I would like to clarify my message because I use this vacuum cleaner every single day for last year. It still functions well, there is nothing wrong with it, just I would like to clarify where it stands in a vacuum cleaner's world, I'm talking about cordless vacuum cleaners, and uh, guide you through my experiences um, that I, I, I went through with this vacuum cleaner in the last year and describe where it stands right now in my household in terms of what I do with it and what I don't do with it. So, first question that people, most people ask if I still would recommend to buy one. It all depends. This is why I'm, I'm making this video. So please watch toward uh, all the way to, to the end because it may answer your question. And if it didn't answer your question, please comment down below and I'll try to answer it because people coming from all sorts of backgrounds and interests in vacuum cleaners. And I even had the question, how do you make rotating brush that is not working anymore rotate again? So if I did not experience the problem, I cannot help you. But if someone making decision whether buy one or not buy one, so here's another review where I can clearly say where it worked or didn't work for me in the last year. So let's start from the beginning. I think is every vacuum cleaner, cordless vacuum cleaner, depends on the battery. First question people are asking, um, so what kind of uh, battery life expectancy uh, of this vacuum cleaner? Now, I would like also refer back to Dyson because I only had uh, two great experiences with um, Dyson and Electrolux, so I can compare battery life and functions. So from Dyson perspective, I had V8 and now have a, a V11. So the battery life, uh, and I hope Dyson improved that V8 was not really great. V11 much better and battery quality much better. Talking about this vacuum cleaner, the battery is still great. I actually don't feel any slowdown in battery life from the moment that I unpack it until today. How do I know about this? Because I use everyday cleaning with it, small jobs, and I put it on recharge. On the weekend, I vacuum the whole house with this vacuum cleaner, and I spend the same amount of time on the same process, and it takes exactly the same time until battery runs out. And it actually doesn't run out because it flashes last light as a flashing light. That means it's in the last cycle and I always finish cleaning before it runs out. So I never run out of battery. Uh, if you uh, start vacuuming non-stop, approximately 20 to 30 minutes of life in the battery. And it should be enough for uh, average household. Now, reflecting back on my review, Life After Dyson. There's no life after Dyson and the whole idea of this vacuum cleaner is not to compete with Dyson. Dyson has its own league, it's the top show. This vacuum cleaner, people uh, like me that used to be able to afford Dyson, now I cannot afford Dyson. So if I need a medium range vacuum cleaner that does not compete directly with Dyson, I definitely would still recommend this one. So question, if I'm not competing with Dyson, what I'm using it for? And I still have my Dyson V11 for my uh, last two years and I may uh, create another review about this. But I use Dyson for all carpeted areas and I use Electrolux for all tiled areas. And I think I've got more tiled area than carpets, so I use my Dyson on the maximum uh, uh, performance on carpet, so I don't need to buy corded vacuum cleaner. And I use this one for all tiled area, which is quite a big area. So uh, after daily use in the last year, I noticed that there's no slowdown. But if I pick it up and show, uh, 
things at the bottom are rusted so obviously it's it's not really a problem but you know i think it's made of um, cheaper materials than others and i expect you know stainless steel to be stainless steel they start rusting but those brackets really doesn't matter uh, and all vacuum cleaners would have a I guess some sort of weakness it's not impeding any function but i just noticed that it's rusted what if already showing you the brush uh, what i really like about this brush is uh, it collecting all the hair and there is the button here to press with your feet if you if you feel like uh, the hair getting tangled and it cuts the hair inside and, sh and, and sucks it in that's something that I don't like about Dyson. I need to untangle all the hairs if it collects them. So uh, bonus points for this one. Also, I think um, as much as I like Dyson, just... as much as I like Dyson, uh, I prefer this one and its versatility. It's kind of modular vacuum cleaner. So for example, if I need to do something small, I can extract that. And all brushes are stuck in a, in, a, in a frame of the vacuum cleaner, so it's easy to reach. It's also easier to clean. I just would like to emphasize how easy to clean. We're pressing that button. We open it up. And the filter is here. Uh, we open it up and, you know, empty the um, dust out. So easy to clean, easy to uh, vacuum. But why it does not replace Dyson? Because Dyson have a couple of different modes of, uh, of operation. One of them is what they call Max, and that's really good for carpets. This one is kind of sweeps carpets. It's not enough suction, it's not enough intensity to clean carpets. This is my, my personal opinion. Um, if I only would have Electrolux Wall Q7 in my household, it wouldn't be as clean as I have it with Dyson. So, if you're looking for some sort of medium range uh, vacuum cleaner that is well made from a reputable brand and does job uh, that is like a medium job, it doesn't require like a, a clean the hard soil areas, I think uh, Wall Q7 is well positioned to be one of those. Speaking of build quality, I don't know, it did feel to me as it's not made as well as Dyson, but again, after a year of use, there's nothing got detached, nothing got broken, and it still feels the same uh, after almost a whole year. People would say, okay, after a year, what you don't like about this? Um, there's nothing not to like, but if I would like, if you'd like me to be picky, uh, I still dreaming about one vacuum cleaner for whole household that I don't need to take mortgage for. This is why I believe Dyson could be one vacuum cleaner for whole household, but I just don't have money to pay like um, what's it costs now, like fifteen hundred dollars for new vacuum cleaner. Because if you buy the cheaper model, it will be same kind of range as Electrolux. And that thing, um, you know, if you buy on sale. It's really good price and I don't want to comment on pricing because everyone gets it from different places. Uh, I tend to uh, buy most of my things uh, from Amazon because I don't like go shopping. I like uh, one place getting delivered, but it's up to you. Now, uh, is anything broke within last year? Not nothing broke and also the brushes still rotates. Many people comment on that and I still got light. Let me talk about light. It feels like it's insignificant addition to vacuum cleaner, but when you vacuum in, that light actually highlights the uh, all the dust and dirt on the floor that you cannot see with naked eye. And I would say, I thought that like light is a gimmick. I think it's one of the best uh, supplementary functions that I, uh, using this vacuum cleaner and I specifically go a little bit slower so I can capture everything that I see. It's really hard to see on the tiles where dust in and before mopping I would like to collect all the dust so that's great. Another thing that it's not really complain but for some people uh, could be a deal breaker it's the amount of dust can get in a chamber. The chamber is quite small so um, and I think and I think the designers align the battery life with the um, size of the dustbin. 
And the reason is that because if, when you run out of battery before docking in, you can empty it. So that's kind of not downside. But uh, with Dyson, if the place is a little bit dirtier, you can collect more. This one um, kind of, it doesn't clog in, maybe because I don't do carpets, but every time I empty it, uh, it's full. So it's not annoying, just I wish it would be a little bit bigger. Uh, another thing that is, uh, I don't quite like about it is uh, how slow it's charging. So um, I clean once a week all my carpets and my tiles, so at the end of that morning, I end up with the Dyson totally depleted of the battery, and Electrolux. Dyson takes, uh, I think, one hour, one hour and a half to charge, and this one takes good two, three hours. So if you think to do two cleanings in, in a day, um, it's kind of a little bit challenging because it takes a long time to charge. Mind you, that may result in preserving the battery that in Dyson is really dying quite fast in the sense of longevity. And this one, I did not notice any battery degradation last year. So maybe that slow charge preserved battery life. So all in all, if you ask me, uh, what's my opinion after a year? I think it's a well-made vacuum cleaner that is versatile enough, but won't replace your main vacuum cleaner. Is it quality build and I recommend it? Yes, it will. It's not for everyone, but if you think uh, of supplementary local cleaning and you would like cheap-ish vacuum cleaner, I will still recommend it. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you and if you'd like to know anything else about this vacuum cleaner after a year of use, please let me know down in the comments and I'll try to either make another video or respond to your comment. Also, uh, I run this channel not for profit. I really would like to share my experiences with all um, things that I buy and use. So if you uh, if you would like to support me, please like and subscribe this channel. That will make my YouTube channel by YouTube uh, be promoted and more watched, and uh, uh, that gives me a little bit more opportunity to create more videos. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.